Hi and welcome to Casual DIY channel. In today's episode I'm going to show you my workshop which is a single bay garage so it's not a lot to show and my future plans for this channel and for the shop itself so stay tuned. Okay, let's get to it then. So, this is the garage door. Um, so, straight away on the left hand side as you walk in, I've got some shelves. And basically you can find here everything and nothing. So, it's an utter mess. I've got my router templates on that side, but some sleds for the router as well. But as you can see, it's absolutely everything and nothing in here. So. Um, 2018 this needs to be sorted with immediate effect not sure how yet but we'll definitely uh, find a way so my long clamps are actually located on that side in that pigeonhole if you can see that I've got my shop heater here underneath you got my thickness planer and underneath there's some uh, clever storage there for the rest of the tools on the other side of the doors we've got a stack of beautiful ash and some oak followed by a um, well loads of off cuts there a box for my latest triton oscillating spindle and belt sander which i've got no space for the box as yet um, some off cuts oh i've got some doors as well um, underneath that white cloth we actually got my two push bikes which i've got no space for at the minute either so when I was putting my workshop together, I thought to myself it would be an absolutely brilliant idea that every single tool will have its own cart on the wheels, storage underneath for some bits and bobs and when I need the tool I just wheel it out to the middle and I can use it. In theory that is a very good idea, when you actually got too many tools it becomes quite cramped and you run out of space. So at the minute these are the tables that I've got. As I mentioned before, I've got the one that holds the thickness planer from Metabow. Next, we've got the card for the scroll saw. Its uh, brand is Ainhell. Not the greatest scroll saw in the world, I can assure you there. Next to that, we've got the pill drill stand. That's on wheels as well. This is the Titan owned brand from Screw Fixed. Uh, that's a UK based store. Uh, I have to say it's very, very good. I'm quite uh, happy with that. Behind, we've got also some hanging solutions uh, for, well, everything and nothing yet again. So you've got your hammers, you've got your saws, your squares, and uh, everything else. Next to that, we've got table saw with a crosscut sled on top. Uh, it, they make is Ainhill again. Um, not the greatest source, obviously budget one, so um, I wouldn't really recommend it. Above that, again, we've got some storage solution, but as you can see, it's an auto mess. And right on top, we've got my Black & Decker angle grinder. Next to the table saw, we've got a workstation that holds multiple tools, and to actually get them, I need to take them off. So the first one is the Triton Oscillating Spindle and Belt Sander, absolutely brilliant tool. After that we've got the, I think it's uh, Evolution Rage 6, and well it's a mitre saw with a combo of table saw on top of it. I have to say it's, um, it's rubbish. For the mitre bit it's fine, forget about the table bit. And next to that we've got our budget Titan thickness planer and jointer. It's for the money, I guess it's alright. Underneath there's a 50 litre air compressor. Next to that we've got again a lot of boxes with everything and nothing in it. After that I've got my router table with a, um, it's a Bosch router. It's alright, nothing special there. Above the table we've got some rack for some clamps, as you can see not many of those but I'm still gathering my collection. 
So on this side of the garage, um, I've got a, some holding space up there for some metal um, metal rods or pipes or anything else for my uh, well industrial projects. So on the garage doors, we also got a Charnwood B250 bandsaw. Very happy with that. A um, few more uh, clamps there. On this side, again, we've got a mixture bit of everything and nothing, some garden stuff, some screws, bolts, nails, and so on, and um, some wood, concrete slabs, so nothing interesting really there. Again, we've got some more offcuts there. These are actually hardwood offcuts, so I like to keep them separate. Going a bit further, we've got the, um, well, I would say wood storage, but again, it's a bit of a mess here, guys. Um, some sheet goods there, so nothing special. That's my dust extraction system. A uh, bit, uh, well, I wouldn't call it a dust-free working space. And we're back to the, um, basically, entrance of the garage. So as you can see, it's an absolutely tiny space. One more go around the workshop. Right behind the scenes, this is my light when I shoot the videos because the lighting in the garage is just not good enough. As I can see, it takes a lot of space and it's constantly in the way. So the future improvement is actually to change the bulbs. These are LED bulbs. Um, they are 4000 lum, uh, but they're actually not giving a very bright light. So I started my YouTube channel in Feb 2017 and it was an awesome adventure. So everybody that subscribed to my channel, thank you very much for doing so. And you know, it helps me a lot to actually develop my channel and pursue my hobby and my passion, which is woodworking and making stuff in general. So going forward, what are the changes? Obviously I need to improve the shop space because at the minute the workflow is absolutely rubbish and I struggle uh, you know, to actually make anything because of this space. So going forward in 2018, I will try to transform this well, single bay garage into a workshop um, with some smart ideas and solutions how to actually maintain a good workflow and at the same time, um, you know, you've got all the tools that you need to do the job. So stay tuned to check that out, how this will change over the course of the next 12 months. Even in a small shop like this, even in your garage, you can actually make and create stuff which is absolutely brilliant. And I hope I'm actually giving you some inspiration and that bit of energy and ideas how you can um, utilize your tools and time and make some really awesome stuff. Um, at this point, I just want to shout out uh, a great YouTuber, Subos Projects, that's the name of the channel. He's done a really um, awesome shop tour of his workshop. Uh, really do go and check it out because I envy his space and his tools and he is making some great projects. So definitely check him out. I'm going to leave the link to his video down below. If you're interested in the tools that I've actually got and use on daily basis, I will uh, try to list all of them in the description of this video. Um, I think the easiest way to, is to actually link them to the Amazon page, as you actually can see the descriptions, reviews, and obviously the price. Uh, I am with the affiliate program with Amazon, so um, you know if you follow them links and you do purchase anything from them links, I actually do get a small percentage of that. Obviously, you're not paying any extra. It's just like a referral type of a scheme. So if you do and you consider buying and purchasing anything from those links, thank you very much because it does support my channel and it helps me bringing you new content. 
if you do enjoy my videos and the projects I do with my tiny shop um, you can actually support me in creating new content and new projects if you wish you can actually leave me a tip I've created a PayPal link that will be in the description of this video and every single video uh, going forward so if you want to support me in that way and drop me a quid or a dollar thank you very much the link is down below thanks for your support so what else is in the pipeline okay I've got some bath boards to sort out uh, I've got an order from a customer so I will definitely make a video on those I've got some bedside tables to make for my house then we're gonna look at a storage under the stairs solution as well I've got a three-story house so on the second floor I've got some space that I need to utilize at the minute is a dumping ground for all my paint and you know rubbish like that after that we'll be making a bed for my two-year-old son it's going to be in a shape of a car with some smart uh, storage solutions so um, quite an interesting project to see as well and there's many more to come over the course of the year my plan is to post a video each week for you guys uh, so it could be tool reviews woodworking projects um, to be fair I need to do a bit of welding as well I've got some uh, projects where I'm going to be using the welder so that's going to be something new for this year I've got a lot of um, trunks and um, slabs of wood that I need to sort out as well so we'll be making some sleds for uh, for the router some patterns so there's plenty of new content for this year I've got it all planned out and hopefully you will come with me on this adventure and um, it's you know I've been doing woodworking for what about two years and everything I've learned is actually from YouTube's and blogs and vlogs and everything else so this is my commitment to you guys to the woodworking community to the older DIYers everything I've learned I want to share with you guys so um, I hope you're gonna enjoy the content in 2018 and I hope you're gonna stick with my channel so if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing because 2018 is looking quite interesting so I hope I'm gonna see you next week on my next project till then take care